here and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can edit pre-made templates inside of Canva. This is specifically for people who may purchase templates from me on my shop, The Boutique Bay uh, on Etsy, and need a little bit of guidance on what to do to edit these templates, but anyone can use this information. So when you get uh, your file from me, um, you will um, have the file, it'll give you a link and you'll be brought to your template. Um, and what you'll do is just click on use template. Now, if you've never used Canva before, you will need to create a free Canva account. Again, it's 100% free to use um, and I'm going to show you what you can do with the templates with just the free options and then I'll show you some things that you can do if you decide to go ahead and sign up for Canva Pro which I think is amazing it's twelve dollars and ninety five cents a month and you get a whole lot more that you can do with the templates um, if you um, get the Can Canva Pro subscription so let's get into it so this is a website banner that I have created. <clears throat> and so what most people do, they simply come in here and they want to either, they of course want to change the wording for the most part, and they may want to switch out the models and put their own products in here, okay? So all you have to do is just click on the words that you might want to change it to. So for example, if I wanted to change it to my business name, the boutique, they is that simple now you may have something happen like what just happened to me where the word bay got dropped right so all you do is you just take these little handles here on the side and you just simply drag it out until it's all on one line okay all right so now you kind of see that the boutique bay is kind of large now right and it's kind of hanging off and it's not it's a little too big so you can come up here to this line top line and you can um, change the font size now you can use this drop down or you can type in the font size that you want so let me try to drop down to 144 and see if that works and it does it works just fine so now we have it here also let's say you're not really good at eyeballing where your stuff needs to be as you can see if you can see that pink line that just popped up that let me know that I was centered that it was centered but if you're not good at eyeballing it or if you're not able to catch those lines you can also come up here to position and just click on center and it will bring your text right to the middle okay you can also click on middle and it will bring it right into the middle of the screen you see that okay so that's what that is for and you can change that the other thing to note is that you cannot change the back ground I'm sorry you cannot change the background colors um, on this okay so the background color is fixed um, but you can do something so let's say you want it a, a little different you can come in here to adjust and mess around with the tint a little bit and it can slightly change the color but it won't be a drastic change okay so for the most part just know that what you're purchasing you're getting the background color as is now in my templates I do work with a lot of elements so I may layer things like these diamonds these things are movable so if you didn't like them for some reason or you wanted to put them somewhere else you could move them around okay so just so you know that so you can take them off and if you wanted to delete something you could just simply select it and hit your delete button okay um or you can hit the trash up here okay so one of the two so let's say the other thing that people ask me about is well i want to add more text in here um and i don't know how to do that like for example, what you would do is you would come over here into your left hand panel and you would click on text and you can just simply click on like add a heading. OK, and I, you can type whatever you'd like. So I can potentially put the home of DIY and pre made marketing or, or branding materials okay so I can do something like that I'm going to reduce the size 
right? And bring in here. Now, one of the things that a lot of people like to do, and I love it, I love when text is all in caps. One of the things I will tell people to do is do not type in all caps, but simply just use this, this option up here, which is the uppercase, with a click of a button, it can make all of the words capital or all the letters capitalized, okay? So we have that in here. You can also change the fonts. And you simply just click up here where the fonts are and you have an entire list of fonts. Now, one thing to note is any font or anything in Canva um, at all that has this little gold crown next to it is a Canva Pro feature. So you, if let's say I tried to click on this font, for example, it's letting you know that, hey, this is a Pro uh, font and you would need to subscribe to Canva Pro. And again, it's offering you canva pro for free for 30 days okay so you can choose from any of the free fonts that you'd like um one font that i'm fond of is called lotto and it is free so i'm going to switch this to lotto and i'm probably gonna let me just do lotto bold there we go so now we have lotto and I want to change the color. So another thing people ask about is color. So you can click on text color and um, it will already have what they're calling document colors. So Canva will kind of look at um, what is already on the page and kind of give you the colors that are there. So let's say I wanted to choose that pink, right? So here's the pink or maybe I want to do white okay i want the words to be white but you see that white's kind of fading in there are also effects that you can put on your text so let's say i wanted to do let's say the splice option and what splice does is it kind of gives you an outline and it gives you a color in the middle so the color i want in the middle is let's say i want to use this pink okay so you can choose that and then the offset takes it from being offset to more like right in the center so now we have it outlined okay and i'm looking at this and i'm like okay that looks cool but i kind of want a bolder like a stronger font than this let's try making it bolder like that and i think that looks okay um i think i'm going to actually try the inverse of this so i want to make the outside pink and the inside white okay so you can just play around with it so that those are the text effects there are, t there are a few other effects that you can do. You can add a shadow, you could do lift, make it hollow, uh, do an echo, you can make it a neon effect. People love that effect, it looks really good. So if there's anything about the template that you don't like as far as the text is concerned, you can come in here and do that. All right, so the next thing that people ask frequently is about changing out the models. This is a big, this is a big one. A lot of people wanna know about this one. So changing out the models, you can you can move them anywhere, but if you just need to delete them, just select and then hit delete or select and hit the trash can up here, okay? So now we have that. So a lot of people will just leave their banners and stuff like that or the flyers that they get, they'll leave it. They don't have they don't have people on them at all. But if you did want to add people or or show your products or something like that on the banner, you can. What you do is you go to uploads click on upload media and upload the pictures that you'd like to use okay now let's say I wanted to instead of the girl with her in the black dress let's say I wanted her in this this outfit okay now as a Canva a, a standard Canva account does not have the ability to take backgrounds out and that's why I say um, if you just need to make a quick edit I would do the Canva Pro for free for the month and take advantage of this feature. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And it is the effects feature called Background Remover, okay? Background Remover is a game changer, okay? Game changer. It will, in one click, take the background out of any photo. And as you can see, this is kind of going to look a little awkward, right? Just this block sitting on here. Now, there's some things you can do to make it look nicer, and I'm going to discuss that in just a second. But honestly, having the background out just takes it to the next level. So let me show you what you can do or how that works. So let me actually switch over to Canva and go to my pro account. 
Okay, so let me take her out like I did in the example that we just had. And I'm going to go to uploads, actually. Let me go to my, I'm sorry, this it's two different accounts I'm in right now, guys. So let me go into my model account and pull that same picture out. All right, so now inside of Pro, you can click on effects and click on background remover. And then boom, just like that, your background is out and you can place the model or whatever your product on top of anything you feel what i'm saying so it just it just makes the it makes everything looks look very professional and all of that okay but let me show you some options if you're like nope sis i don't want to sign up for canva pro i just want to do what i can do for free no problem let me switch back over to um to Okay, here we go. So we're back in the, the free version. Here are some things that you can do. You can go into effects and you'll need to, it's gonna be in a list here. One is gonna say frames and one will say sh shadows, okay? You can pick both of them and it'll basically down download it. So it'll be in this list down here. You just click on it and it'll download these options here, okay? So like for example, uh, like with Duotone, if I clicked on Duotone, it'll say, go ahead and connect it. And now Duotone is av available. That's the same thing with um, uh, the smart mock mockups and the frames and all of that. So let me show you how you could apply a frame, for example, to a photo. Um, so let's see. You can put a frame, let's say like a, a iPhone. You can do like an iPhone, put her inside the iPhone. Or you could put like a neon frame around the photo. Hold on, let me cancel that. We can put like a neon frame, for example, around the picture to make it look a little better. But for some of this stuff, like maybe this glitter silver frame, okay? So it gives it a little bit of zhuzh, right? And it kind of matches, it matches more with what we're doing. So we got that effect on there. Now we want to add a shadow effect on there. I like using glow. You can use a drop effect, but let's try a glow. Okay, so now we have her on here with the glow effect, with the frame around her. Let's maybe add another photo and do the same thing. So we're going to add a frame, the glitter frame around it. And we're also going to apply the effect and then also add the glow around this one. All right, so now we have the, the frame and the glow around these. Now, what can we do to add this into our design? Doing things at an angle always seems to add interest, guys. And let's see, maybe making this a little bit bigger and doing something like this i know you guys are like this don't look good sis but bear with me <laughs> i'm just giving you an example of what you can do okay so now we've added these effects on we kind of got it positioned now we need to change the position because she's on on top of stuff right and so this is another thing that you can do with your temp templates you can change the positioning of things so let's say i want to move her backwards click on whatever you'd like to move and you click on position and i want to take her to the back i want her behind everything maybe not let's move her forward one okay i'm cool with her being behind the text here we go and then we're going to do the same thing with this one we're going to position her move her backwards okay so now she's behind the diamond but in front of the other picture which i kind of like and i'm going to move her a little bit so we can see both all right so now now you see even though we don't have her with the background cut off. It still looks like it's intentional instead of just you sticking this on a design. 
don't do that don't do this <laughs> don't do this please do something like that and these are some of the things that you can do if you decide you don't want to use the background remover feature also keep in mind there are other applications there's other tools that you can use that give you the ability to remove the backgrounds as well so i'm just giving you options that are already inside of canva as far as things that you can do but there are apps that you can put your pictures into take the background out and then bring those pictures into canva so whatever choice you want to make you can i just wanted to give you some options there so those are the those are the biggest questions that i get from people um those are the biggest changes that most people um like to make um to the templates that they purchase now also another thing to remember is if you buy a template from from me or anyone that has animation in it and you are um if you are making the edits on your cell phone and then you go to download the file understand that the download may take a longer time because you're not just downloading a picture you're downloading an actual video file you're going to be downloading an mp4 and if you're not on a strong wi-fi signal and you're just like on a cell cell type type of thing it's go it can take longer it will be a slower process okay so keep that in mind um when you are buying these templates and it might take a longer time for them to download if you're on mobile um but you can do both you can buy buy these and you can edit in canva from your phone which is really really cool so hopefully this video has been helpful and if you have any questions feel free to leave them below i will catch you all later and also if you are interested in buying the templates for this web banner set the link will be below all right y'all bye